Alright guys, here we are for the 2020 AFL Final Series kicking off here at the glorious MCG against our rivals Collingwood who have beaten us twice this season, once by four points at the MCG and the other time by five goals in Perth. They absolutely gave us a football lesson, but today we are out to set that right. We have Nick Natnui returning to the side, Willie Rioli is making his very, very uh, well well waited for return to the side. It's just about 12 months since he was banned, so why not? I thought I'd shake up this final series and bring him back into the side. But Jack Redden, sadly, is out for the season. So we play in a grand final. He won't be available. And Jack Petricelli will be pretty much in a race to get fit in time. Luke should be also out for the season, unavailable for the final series. But other than that, we have a fairly healthy list. Uh, not too many youngsters being carried in the side. Jaron Cameron, it still remains in the side. I would have dropped him if it weren't for Redden getting injured. But I'm playing Rioli in the guts today. And therefore, Jar uh, Jared Cameron still has his spot. Collingwood well and truly proven themselves to be the team of the competition this season. And obviously having two heartbreaking losses in the finals of the last two seasons. They're the overwhelming favourite to avenge their pain. This is going to be a brutal contest. I really, really hope we put in a much better showing than we did in our last clash with the Pies. We don't want to go home empty-handed and a loss happens today. We will take on, uh, I think it's either Collingwood or Geelong, sorry, Carlton or Geelong next week in Perth. If we win, we get a home prelim, uh, potentially against Hawthorne or someone like that. As we look at the players in the National Anthem, it's all very exciting. This is my first final series in AFL Evolution 2. It looks pretty sweet with the, all the players lined up there. Elliot Yo, the stand-in sk skipper, he's had a good season, not a great season. He's uh, he was one of two best of fairness in the last three years. This year he's had to step up in the absence of Luke Shuey. We've had some bad injury run with our midfield, but he stood up, stood up very capably. And I really think with Rioli into the midfield mix for this game, the Eagles have got a bit more of an edge, I'm pleased to say. This is a huge game for the Eagles, my career as the coach. Let's get into it. Calls for a stoppage. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one. Oh, throwing the ball paid against Willy Rioli. Sorry, for Willy Rioli in his comeback match with his second kick of the game. He could register... A goal, and the Eagles have the first on the board. The players swamp him. It's good to be back. Puts on a big hit. The free kick. Oh, Guy Tips it towards half court. Oh no! Shepard made an uncharacteristic defensive error. It's going to cost us a goal with a booming kick from Dane Beams. The pies are level. Looks to move it by foot. Ends up marking and contested. Sinks the slipper into it. A big oh, well marked there from Trelaw in front of his opponent, Elliot Yo. He's going to line up for the pie second. It's a pretty good kick. It's straight. It is untouched. It's a goal. Punches it clear. Opportunity for Yo. Keeps it moving. Williams just handballs into space. The tackle misses completely. Darling should make no mistake here. He passes to Tim Kelly, who puts it oh, not straight through the middle, but it's a good kick nonetheless. The Eagles have their second. Oh, no. Oh, it was good defense here by the Eagles, but then all my players scattered into opposite directions. As soon as Collingwood got the ball, which didn't help. The Pies get their third. McGovern out muscled by Hoskin Elliott. That's a joke. Oh, far out. That camera angle gets me every time. I was streaming into open, open play. The camera angle swivels and he runs back into his opponent. That doesn't make any sense. That is quarter time. Collingwood every bit the better side as we knew they probably would be. The Eagles still haven't gone out of their funk. They're completely out of confidence. And it's showing Collingwood by far 
the stronger team so far. Nui gets onto the ball. Dug out the loose ball. Looks up with the oh, kick. Nat Nui had Josh Kennedy all Picks on his own. He's messed it up. Kennedy Can he find... Oh, he's messed up the kick too. Gee whiz, this is frustrating viewing. And the computer's given themselves a free kick. I don't think I actually did anything wrong there. This is a mad scramble. Someone's got to kick a goal here. Oh, he's just got his boot onto it. Oscar Allen. That was messy football, but the Eagles have their third. One of the worst calls in a long time, which says something. Oh, that Jordan Roughhead is an insane player on this game. Oh, Brody Grundy. I'll... Oh. They played it a goal. Well, that was one of the goals of the year. I wonder if I'll show a replay. Shrugs off a couple of tackles. Oh, that is that is probably goal of the year, I reckon. Oh, what happened there? Jared Brander you could be losing your spot next week, buddy. That has gone through your body. And Collingwood skip out to 20 points. Oh, just facing the wrong direction. Every oh, and Brad Shepard runs into a Collingwood player lying on the ground. It intercepts him, and they run into an open goal. This is going in a familiar direction. Oh, he's done well. He's done poorly there. Nat Nui should run into an open goal here. He doesn't mess it up. Thank God the Eagles get one back. Oh, yes. A rare mistake from Collingwood has given it straight to Josh Kennedy. That is a good kick. The Eagles somehow are within 13 points. They don't deserve to be, but that's where they sit. Oh, that's the worst thing I could have done with that decision, and it is half time. Eagles have poured back to a 15 point deficit. As I said before, it feels like they're losing by more. They've been accurate. Collingwood have probably missed some gettable chances. The inside 50 is 18 to 15, maybe misleading. I feel like, as has been the trend for pretty much the last six weeks in this career. We have not been the better side. As Oscar Allen surprises me with the most touches on ground for us. Great contest there by Hutch. Throwing the ball pay. That is a soft free kick, but I will take it. He's going to have to try and find someone short. This is going to be tough. Jack Darling. Finally, I haven't seen him too much. Takes a good one-on-one -on -one mark. The Eagles need this. He's put his boot through the ball. The Eagles are back within seven points. He's in short, hard, and probably needs a chance to rest. Ball spills. Hoskin Elliott picks up the loose ball. Side bottom strolls into what would have. Yeah, it is an open goal. Very good kick to navigate through the breeze there. Sloppy defending again from the Eagles. There's some great skills on oh, display right, right now. It's a great match. Gets the ball to Yo. This is an important run. This is his pace. What an exciting run. Oh, how's he smothered that? That is insane. I have no idea how he got close down that space. Oh, that is a pretty good kick. It's going to trickle through from behind. How frustrating. West couldn't keep his hands on it. Good tackle. Throwing the ball paid against him. Dak Darling's really lifted this quarter. This will be his second goal for the term. The Eagles are within a goal. Here we go. Oh, he's just got the kick off in time. Darling. This will take a good kick. He's going to need a torpedo. The Eagles could level the scores with this kick, which seems incredible. Tell you what. Oh, didn't quite get the breeze there. <laughs> oh, here we go. Bailey Williams. Oh! 
Come on. What do I need to do to kick a goal? That is insane. West Coast reduced the ground to bring it back into play. Decides to play on now. Chose to kick it. Good oh, Nat Nui. I think this has got the breeze behind him. He does. This would put the Eagles in front in what has been a humongous, yes, humongous third term. Tell you what, that is going to go close. He's missed. Oh, tensions are high here at the MCG. Oh, Duggan, don't tell me he's the man to put them in front. He's not. Oh, Jeremy Cow's flied, flown, slide for a hanger. Uh, Cheese got the free kick. A torpedo here right before three-quarter time. Probably won't be enough. In fact, that has not even gotten close. Oh, the Eagles' luck is coming thick and fast, but they don't really have anyone who can kick into this gust of a breeze. This could be their best hope yet. It's probably going to miss again. I really don't learn. Out of the full. Come on, that's stiff. That Nui again. The Eagles really starting to open up Collingwood. Oh, he sees Bailey Williams. Doesn't quite find him with that kick. It was terrible. Tim Kelly, though, is the next best option. A little bit further from home than he would like. This is a drop punt, though. Tell me it's in. <laughs> I can't kick goals today. I don't know what is going on. It's four behinds in a row and a couple out in the full. Pushing the back, a free there. kick. Being paid to the Eagles. Tim Kelly should make light work of this one. The Eagles Kelly are in front. This is a tense final. This is Premiership football. The Eagles really fought back hard in that third term. So they, they haven't disgraced themselves. At one point, it did look like another belting was on the cards. But do they have the legs in them for a four-quarter effort to get over the line here and earn a home prelim? Oh, that is good, sleek skill from Steel side bottom. The Eagles, oh, I don't know about that. Has it now. Just put it on the boot. Oh, a great handle under that Keep pressure. That is a oh, fantastic kick. Just been denied by the post. Hmm, McGovern fails to fly, and that could be costly. Oh, I don't know. Why I did that. Steel side bottom. Not the man you want lining up for goal. He's a good kick. At least field kick. It's going to be tough. Oh, pushing the back pay. Oh, no. And he's put it through. Careless defending from the Eagles. Collingwood back in front by five points. Archie, he's got a bit of speed about him. No kicking skills, though, evidently. Oh, Oscar Rowland, has he kicked it? Oh, Rotham. I don't know how possibly the ball physics works there, that the ball has sailed back into the hands of a Collingwood defender. This is crucial. This would put the Eagles back in front. It's going to be a tough kick. Oh, I think he's got it. The Eagles lead by a point. Oh, that hurts. They've got the behind. Poor kick by me. It's turned over. Sharon Berg. Probably get a result. It's a free kick for 
if you can't see, you can't see me. I'm just face palming really hard. Up. I definitely did not run shot. over the mark there. I wasn't controlling him, even though my icon was on him. Oh, that sucks. Behind's as good as a goal, really. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. Couldn't take it. I've kept it in for now. Packs it out of there. This ground's got Can't to bring this to ground. Puts it on the boot. Adam takes the mark. It's a long kick. I haven't seen it for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Gets a hand in. Oh, it's a smothered kick. This is crucial ball. for the Eagles. They've got to get a mark here. He's got to hold it up. Jamie Cripps lines up for a very tough kick. Oh, he's missed. Oh, that is painful. Taylor Adams takes the goalkeeping mark. Mason Cox takes that grab. The Eagles might, might have. Oh, they might have a chance here. Oh, Liam Ryan. Oh, okay. No, we don't pay marks anymore. JK needs a grab from Ryan. Gets the loose ball. Manufactures a hand. No. Tim Kelly's put it through. The Eagles lead by a point. I can't believe it. We might have stolen this from Collingwood at the death in possibly the most dramatic circumstances. I have no idea how long is left. But this centre bounce is crucial. This needs a mark. Oscar Allen can hold play up. He sees a free player. He probably shouldn't have done that. Uh oh. There it is. The Eagles this time on the victorious side. No pun intended in Melbourne. I can't believe it. Collingwood beat us with the last kick of the game last time we played. And this had about five seconds left in it when we had just about kicked the winning goal through Tim Kelly. I cannot believe the circumstances of this game. The Eagles are through to a prelim and their chances of a premiership remain alive. It was looking pretty dicey there for a while. I think we lost four out of five. And at halftime in this game, you'd think Collingwood would win a cruise to a five goal plus win. But the Eagles threw Tim Kelly, who was clearly best on ground, for us, I think uh, Sharon Berg had quite a few touches, 17 in fact and a goal. Hard to compete with that, but three goals and 11 touches and the winner for Tim Kelly was huge. And even though we yeah, we lost the final quarter, we win by a point with one of the final kicks of the game. This will be one of the most famous West Coast Eagles finals wins in our history. So there you go guys in the semis, Hawthorne and Adelaide play at the MCG. Surprise final match up there with Adelaide progressing so far after beating... Oh, they beat the Saints by a point and the Cats annihilated the Blues and the Cats and Magpies face off. So the other prelim is likely to be Giants and Collingwood if they don't go out in straight sets and we are more likely to play Hawthorne at Optus Stadium. All right, so the games have progressed. Collingwood have flogged Geelong, flexing their muscle. They're angry about losing to us by a point at the death. That was an unbelievable finish. They've also gone on to avenge the Giants in last year's prelim in very similar circumstances, except it's the Pies that are through to the grand final with a three-point win. Adelaide somehow have progressed into a prelim final in their first season as Matthew, under Matthew Nix. That is unreal. Before we go, I do want to have a quick look at some uh, injury lists so we're all prepared for Next week's prelim. Uh, have we got any injuries? Petrocelli still out for one more week. Jack Redden out for the season confirmed. But overall, guys, here we are. There are two games left. If we win against the Crows, we will be through to our second grand final against Collingwood in just three years. Can't wait to have you join me. I'm hoping it's not as close as this game. I reckon we've got it in us to go all the way. Thanks, guys. I'll see you for the prelim final next week.